All right then gang, so in this video, I just wanna take a few minutes to talk about how we can make components that are not necessarily page components, but reusable dropping components so that we can drop them into several different other page components. Now, this is not necessarily a topic that's particular to SvelteKit, it's just plain Svelte stuff, but I thought I would do a little video on this because we need it for this website anyway. So what I'd like to do is create a component, which is gonna be some kind of title component or some kind of nav bar. And in that, there might be a little logo, there could be a title, there could later on be links as well, that kind of thing. Now, the reason we'd create a standalone reusable component for this is so that we don't have to write the template for all of that title on every single page that we had. For example, in the index page over here, I could create this code. I could do a div at the top with a class of title like so. And then inside here, I could do an image tag. And by the way, I'm just going to drag in an image from my folder over here into the static folder over here. So it's an SVG. And this is just a little game controller. I got it from the Google icon library material icons so you can go and find your own picture or use something like this you can get this one from my repo if you want to now that is going to go inside the title right here so the source when we're using something inside the static is just forward slash then whatever the asset is so in our case it's called controller.svg and then we'll give this an alt of site logo so we have an image and also we'll do a title h1 you know some title over here in fact we'll say ninja gaming or something like that right so this would be the template a very simple template for the navbar or the title of the page and this should be on every single page now instead of us copying this and then pasting it in this page as well and then in other pages in the future what we could do is create that reusable component and just place it in that component then we can just place that component in any page that needs it right so what I'm gonna do is cut this stuff right here instead and save this then what I'm gonna do is create a new folder inside the source folder and this folder is gonna be called lib now this is a special folder in Svelte Kit, and I'll tell you why it's special in a minute but generally when we have some kind of reusable components, I normally put them inside this lib folder. So I'm gonna create a new file right now, and this is gonna be called title.svelte, like so. All right, so now I can paste in this bit of HTML, and also I'm gonna do a script tag at the top as well, because what I'd like to do is create a variable called title, and I'm gonna set that equal to a string, and I'm gonna cut this string right here, paste it in like so, and then I can output the title in curly braces as we've seen before. So now we're just outputting whatever the value of this variable is. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make this into a prop for this title component. So say I want a different title in different pages, I could pass in the title as a prop to the component and then it would change. Now we'll talk about that a little bit later on. For now, let's move on and just add some styles. So style tag, and then inside here, I'm just going to copy from my repo and paste in like so. So the title right here itself display as flex. That's so that this and this sit next to each other. Then the image we display as inline block and we apply this filter property right here. Now, this is basically just to colorize the SVG into some kind of a light purple color. All right. so. Down here we have a title H1, which is this right here, and we say margin left 10 pixels to bring it away from the image. So this is the title component. Now what I'd like to do is use this title component inside another component, a page component. So I'm gonna do that inside the index file first of all. So to do this, first of all, we have to import the component title. So inside the script, we say import and then title, and it's gonna be from, and then this is where this lib folder comes into play. So instead of us saying, oh well, come out of the routes folder and then go into lib like so, instead, when anything is placed inside the lib folder, we can reference that by saying dollar sign and then lib. This is like an alias for the path to the lib folder, all right? So then we can just say forward slash title dot svelte like so. All right then. 
So now we can use this component down here. I'm going to place it above the rest. So we'll do title like so. And that's all we need to do. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this should all work. All right then, so on the home page right here, we can see the title component, the title there, and also this little purple image right here of the game controller. Now, it doesn't look amazing at the minute, but it will look a bit better later on when we add some more styles to the site. For now, let's try also adding this component to the about page, because at the minute, we don't see it here, only on the home page. So then I'm going to copy this thing right here and go to the about page and I'm going to paste it in at the top up here. But also I'm going to go back and copy this script as well, because we also need to import this into the about page now. So let me do that at the very top. All right then. So now it should appear on the about page as well. However, what I'd like to do is pass in a custom title into this. So if we go to the title component, we can see that this variable right here is the title and we output that right here, Ninja Gaming. So what if I want to give it a different title? Well, I'm going to pass in a prop. Now you can call props whatever you want, but since this property right here is called title, that's what we're going to pass in, title, and we set it equal to a different value. So I'm going to say Ninja Gaming Reviews instead of just Ninja Gaming. So I'm passing this prop in as a value right to this component. Now, in order to accept that value in as a prop, we have to place export in front of this. And that says to Svelte, look, we expect this title value to be coming in as a prop. Now, if we don't pass a prop in like we don't here, then the default value is going to be this. But if we do pass a prop in, which we do here, then I want you to override the value of the title with whatever value we take in as that prop. So now where we output the title, it should be this Ninja Gaming Reviews. All right. So let's save this title component now and let's see if this works. All right then. So on the home page, we can still see the original title. But now if we go to the about page, we can see the one we passed in as a prop Ninja Gaming Reviews. Awesome. So that's how we can use reusable components. They come in handy when you want to bundle up a lot of template or logic into a component that you might use in multiple different pages.